that man right there he only built in uh, the richest neighborhood in Nigeria Banana Island that's the only place that he built yeah and here I am Good morning, how are you all doing? I hope you guys are doing fine. It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana Baby, right here. And you know what? Today's a good day because it's Good Friday. So I just wanna vlog, you know. I'm not a big fan of vlogging, but I think I'm learning from the best. How are you doing? I hope you are doing amazing. She's the best one when it comes to lifestyle content creation. So today I'm vlogging because the man who inspired me to start my real estate company is in Ghana. I bought this land just to build my dream home. Mm -hmm. I went to Nigeria early this year. Then I met this real estate developer. He took me to Banana Island and he told me, Maya, you see this house right here? This is like a six bedroom house sitting on a half plot. You know how much I'm going to sell this? It's like one million dollars and i'm like that's crazy man mm -hmm. <laughs> and then i was thinking about building a dream home on a two plot of land so he told me that you are young you don't need a dream home you need to learn how to make money and i felt like meeting him today it's gonna be cool for me to vlog it right i mean who doesn't want to meet inspiring people i mean anytime i meet inspiring people i always want to share their story online and it's his first time in ghana so i feel like it would be cool for me to put it on camera but i'm actually on my way going back home because my mom told me that if i don't come back home today she's definitely gonna beat me up and you know i'm still mommy's boy so i just have to go home today no matter what i was supposed to fly to takradi this morning but go black to africa is in town and he's leaving on monday so I had to just cancel the flight, wait in here for us to do the interview uh, because he wants to interview me, right? And then, yeah, go back to, go to Takradi. But I just got this call. This man, he said he's just right here for a short time. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just go and see him. And at the end of the day, I'll still meet Go Black to Africa. And then right from there, I'll head back to Takradi. But if you don't know that I got an Airbnb, You all should check the link in the description. This is one of my apartment. It's on rent, it's on Airbnb. If you ever wanna to come to Ghana and looking for a posh place to stay, choose Watermeyer's apartment. I mean, I used to stay here before, but we no longer live here. So I decided to put all the um, apartment on Airbnb. So yeah, the link will be in the description. Come and stay in Watermeyer's Airbnb, take photos. Let me know that you are here. Make sure you tag me on Instagram because I'm definitely gonna uh, repost it. It's just um, a minimalist Airbnb with a cozy bed. You got your TV, kitchen, bathroom. I mean, everything that you're looking for is here. Yeah, so come with me. Let's go. Bye. need to come with me as we head out go see my number one inspiration but today is good friday and viglo the engineer viglo was on his way to work but i'm like dude this is an emergency you don't have to go to work you just need to come and pick me up let's go together because i believe that this man would definitely inspire the man in the car hi hello what's up how are you doing i'm good bro what's who up? are you Hey, I'm Kojo Viglo. Kojo Viglo from where? Yeah, from Star Properties. Yeah, so yeah. you can see Star, Silver Star Auto. So if you are looking for a vehicle, contact uh, Silver Star Auto. Thank you. Where are we going? We are going to Kempiski. <laughs> <laughs> Kempiski is for rich people. And uh, I'm not rich, I've never slept in there before. But I, I love going there just to be inspired. Knowing that someday I will also afford to stay in Kempinski. Viglo, today is Good Friday. Yeah. That's why you're going to church. Yes. 
Trust me, I didn't know today is Good Friday. Hey, yeah, for real. Was that Fuba? Was that Fuba? Was that Fuba? Because I, my mom is telling me that you have to go to church on Sunday. Uh, Sunday. So uh, in my uh, mind, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going home just to go to church, to on, church Sunday. on Sunday. But I didn't know that today is Good Friday. Of this time, like. Yeah, Easter, man. So yeah, you need to buckle your um, seatbelt. Vigro has a YouTube channel, apart from him being a star, property, uh, how do you call it, marketing manager. He also have a YouTube channel, I think I've been on the channel before. Yes. That, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been on the channel before. I, I was the man of yeah, God apostle. on that day, Apostle Maya. <laughs> Apostle Maya, man. But I feel like I need to get used to vlogging, man. It, it feels so cool talking to yourself and people are out there listening to you. Do you guys want to see more vlogs? Let me know in the comment section. But have you liked the video yet? Please, I realize that some of you don't like the video. You just enjoy watching. Like the video. Subscribe. Please, it's very important. Subscribe right now. Let me wait. Have you subscribed yet? Thank you for subscribing, yeah? So. Thank you very much. Traffic of the day. How will you call this traffic? Uh, it's that traffic. It's that traffic, and but it's 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 not like um, <laughs> how do I call it? It's not like a heavy traffic. Or nah, this is very light. Very, this is a light traffic. Yeah, like light. on this road, like it's this. Off peak. No, no, <laughs> it's off peak traffic. Then <laughs> off peak traffic. I wish that every day is like this yeah, in Accra. Yeah, we look like That is um, the headquarters of Silver Star Tower. No, the Star Property, right? Yeah, Star Property is on the eighth floor. So you can see Japan Motors, the ones that gave us the Nissan Navara, the right Nizan there. Navarra and um, yes. yeah, so you can, I don't know if you guys can see Silver Star. Uh, Silver Star Tower. Auto. My channel on the other side. My office is on the eighth floor. Your office is on the eighth floor. Executive like director is on the seventh floor. Lakeside Estate is on the seventh floor. Oh, okay. Yes. I want to be an office here someday. I don't, I want to be doing I don't have money for that. From people coming from the I don't have money for that. No, if, think about it. Like if, if you have if, meeting with someone if, coming from Kenya, he just fly in five minutes meeting, you borrow my office. Okay, I don't I don't borrow <laughs> office. You, want to be an after, you have some after <laughs> engagement, someone wants to invest in Africa. You shouldn't take him all the way to start home unless he's buying the house. Okay. You can just meet him in office. When I make money I will after think about it. dollars per hour. Per hour? My whole savings is not even five hundred dollars. Spoiler alert! We finally here, and Viglo just asked me one thing. What did you ask me? I wear shoes today. Why am I wearing shoes today? <laughs> you see, I wear shoes. They complain. I wear slippers. They complain. They complain. I, I I simply don't know what to do right now, man. What, what, what do I have to do now? You know, but sometimes I just want to be nice to you all, so I have to wear shoes because I realize that. When I wear slippers to certain places, mm -hmm. people complain a lot. But That's you have to understand place. that that is me. That is what I'm I. <laughs> I just want that village boy out there, yeah, to see me and be like, I can be like my. Yeah. You know, I'm not intimidated by anybody's sources. I'm not trying to please anybody. I'm just trying to be me and let my life story inspire village people. You know, imagine being a village boy. You also find yourself in suits with the same people wearing suits. At the end of the day. There's no difference, you know? So, I just want to be different. So, I just want to tell you to dare to be different, man. But, yo, Kempinski is so nice, man. Look at that. How they're not going to tell me to put down my camera. That's how it is. That's that that guy is classy, bro. Yeah, that's a Mercedes Benz. Huh? Hey, you know all of that? Oh, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Mercedes. <laughs> Where is the man? It's like an outdoor. Outdoor pool. Where is it? Is that a pool? No, man. It's more like a fountain. And you're saying an outdoor pool, bro? A whole engineer. <laughs> a whole engineer saying this is that the kind of this is an outdoor pool. Swimming. As Siri, we're using a kids' pool. Ah, of course, you showed. This is the okay. lens. Okay. So it's showing me now. Yeah? Are you guys seeing me? And when I turn it to you, and it's, it's showing not your me. turn. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Lo is an engineer, you all should pardon him and he has nothing to do with Kamu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for my phone to call him. Um, Mr. Akintola, how are you doing? Are you doing I, yes? I feel like I'm growing, bro. Like I look, I look like matured. Look like a man now. I look like a man now, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm at the lobby, Mr. Akintola. I'm at the lobby. Yeah, I'm at the lobby. Yeah. Hey. Mr. Akintola. <laughs> it's your first time here. I'm telling you, first time in Ghana. First time in Ghana. I can feel the peace from the airport. I love how I love how billionaires dress, you know. <laughs> Don't go See, <laughs> You see, he's a he's a billionaire, right? And he's wearing slippers t-shirt and I'm wearing shoe, man. How embarrassing. <laughs> Should I've put on my slippers like that. You see, always be yourself, yeah? That man right there, he only built in uh, the richest neighborhood in Nigeria, Banana Island. That's the only place that he built. Yeah. And here I am. So, my name is Akintola Oladejo. Okay. Um, I run a small company called Prestigious Homes Limited. Uh, I'm from Nigeria. Uh, born and bred in Nigeria, full blooded Nigerian. Not mixed in any way. Not mixed in any <laughs> way. Not mixed in any way. I, I think you have you know, a lot just, to tell me, yeah? Yeah, so, sure, sure, sure. You, billionaires first. <laughs> <laughs> See, he just sat first, ah, so ah, it's a billionaire. <laughs> he told me that he's just here for a few hours, and then he called me like, yo, you have to see me before I go. If I tell you I'm blessed, you just have to know that God got my back. Man. Don't, don't, don't envy me, bro. Don't, don't, yeah? A lot of the Africans um, need to understand, need to stop blaming their parents for their woes, okay? Need to stop blaming themselves. They need to stop, stop blaming their environment. They need to work within what they have and excel. You did it. And, and they can do it as well. Oh my goodness. This man is a great man. The man, uh, the man no, 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 no. I, I, I was telling you about this man. man yeah? than you <laughs> See, I, I was telling you about this man. Yeah. He's the man who actually inspired me to start a real estate. Wow. He told me yeah. that I'm very stupid to build my dream home on a two plot of land. <laughs> We're here to partner now. He's, like He's my partner now. Hey! Wow. Wow. Yes. Yeah. I think I've made it to life. <laughs> <laughs> So I just wanted to know what brought you to Ghana. You know, uh, first I'd like to say that Ghana is very peaceful. Hmm. I felt the peace right from the airport. So first time here? First time in Ghana. Excellent, lovely place. You know, everyone should be here. You know, um, I felt the peace right from the airport. The people very welcoming. Hmm. You know, um, so I came to attend a wedding. You know, one of my mentees got married yesterday. And I had to be here. Yeah, it's very important to me. And a lot of people fleeing from Nigeria for this wedding. Oh. Yes, you know, and I think my one night stay here has been worth it. I understand. I'm gonna come back. <laughs> I'm gonna come. And of course the trip is not complete without having with the Maya here. Ah, no, I know. No. <laughs> you know, like he, he he called me and said, I'm in Ghana. And I'm like, how? You know, like okay, you need to come now. You know, he's I, the greatest Ghanaian right here. I, the greatest Ghanaian <laughs> right here. He doesn't know. After our video, did people reach out to you though? The video made a huge difference. You know, mm. people reached out from several parts of the world. Wow. You know, um, to be honest, um, I had several connections across Africa. People inviting us to do what we did or what we're doing in Lagos. Mm. Congo is inviting us, you know, even South Africa, you know, um, several people, several people from Ghana, from Ghana as well. Even Tanzania, people are saying we should come and replicate what we've done in Lagos. You know, so you're doing a great job, I'll tell you. Your work is more is greater than you can ever think of. You wow. know, yeah. But I also want to say that thank you so much for the harsh advice. You know, at first when you were talking to me, listen, I was so mad in my like in my head that why would this man call me stupid? But he was so right. <laughs> he was so right that what I did, I feel like it's bearing fruit now. I, I know you don't have time, but I know that when it's done i will show you the final uh work and i just want to say thank you so much for inspiring me and 
if you have a message to inspire the youth of Africa, what would that message be? Uh, even for, for yourself, I would say that's just a starting point. You know, uh, look for, for greater, uh, greater strength, greater achievement. For the youth out there, I would say, you know, just believe in yourself. Go for it. Don't die without trying out that stuff that you've been thinking about trying out. Mm. You know, it's better to try and fail than not to try at all. Wow. You know, I would say, go for it. Just go for it. Just try it. I mean, you only live once. You know, just go out and just try it out. You know, it doesn't matter if you fail, you know, it's worse if you don't try it at all. You know, but I can tell you that the chances of success are much higher than those of failure. If you give it a shot, you know, so give it a shot, you know, and God bless you. Mr. Akintola, well, Akintola, since you're a billionaire, did you bring dollars to Ghana? This billionaire, uh, uh, I did pray out. <laughs> Amen. One day to come to pass. He, he, he will never accept it. But the man know. is a prophet. Nah. He's only prophesying in my life that I'll be a billionaire. One day to happen. That's a lie. Prophet you know. for the Maya. I, I think today I was saying that I'm an apostle, yeah? But I think I've got a new name. Yeah, That's yeah. prophet. Yeah. I want to say Thanks, welcome man. to Ghana. Thanks, and yeah. um, you're going back right now, eh? I'm going back here today, tonight, in the, in the evening. Oh, okay. I would say this, Ghana is a great place. Mm. But we in Africa we need to travel more, more and see around Africa. It's a beautiful place. Amazing. It's a beautiful place. So I mean I, I will, I'm yes. going back home but I will take you around a bit before Excellent. we go. Excellent, I'd like to see. You. I, I like think see. I have a new visitor coming yeah, to see you. Yeah, I'm coming. Just a minute. You see, I, I'm not even done, but look, guess who is here? Hi. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> how are you? Good brother, how are go you? Go black to Africa. You said it's not your boy, it's your man, yeah? This is your man, not your boy. But I'm your boy. The, the village boy right here. <laughs> the village boy, yeah. Thank you so much for coming. Oh yeah. man, thank you, right. man. I, I think you need to join us and then we're just gonna make it from there. Okay, okay. No thank you. Bro, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I have mentioned on my channel about freedom, liberty, justice. This is something that was ingrained in, in us when we were over in America and we saw that it did not apply. You know, because it said freedom, justice for all, but we know it was not included in the all. I just wanna know why go black to Africa? You know, um, the... Uh, us in the diaspora have been gone so for so long mm -hmm. that we have even lost the idea or, um, of what Africa is. Mm -hmm. And so go is to go pick up, go to the motherland. You know, black, I mean, because we are all black. And, you know, my message is to our people. And of course, Africa being the continent, it's going back to the motherland. So, you know, go black to Africa is is what my message is, you know. With that family, this is your man, not your boy. Go black to Africa. Because you just asked me before, it's like, you know, you do something like this, you know, everybody gets it mixed up. But it's, it's I, I take my thumb and then I go, say go. Uh-huh. Like go, like go back, but point, and I point at my temple, black, black. two, put the other second finger up to uh -huh. Africa, and that's taking off the plane, taking off uh, on your journey to Africa. How many countries in Africa have you been so far? Thirteen. Been to thirteen countries. And how have your experience been in all these countries? Experience have been great, you know. Um, in, you know, I've, I've shared, you know, the good, the bad, the indifference, you know. Uh, had challenges in certain places. That's okay. That's part of life, you know. Whether, you know, somebody try to pickpocket me, you know, or being harassed by a police, a police officer or, you know, uh, having my GoPro stolen and, you know. Yeah, all you know, these, these challenges. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's a struggle, you know. Yeah. Um, it's just like me traveling in Africa and being deported, being arrested. But, you know, it, it's part of the struggle. It's part of the challenges. And that shouldn't stop you from doing what you do and I'm right. so glad that despite all this things happening to you, you still keep on coming back I mean you know there is nothing that would be mm. worse than where um, the experience I've had in America wow. and you know people keep asking me well 
you know, are you going to live in Africa? Yes, you know, I'm going to live in Africa. Now I got, I got kids too as well, you know. But my, my main objective, my dream is really to have them all come here. And that's what I'm doing is establishing base areas to where they can come and take the baton and uh, finish what I'm started. If you have a message for the African diaspora, what would that message be? Go black to Africa. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm serious when I say that. I, I, you know, I have, like yourself, watching your videos and seeing all the success stories, where there was people who stayed on the continent and never left, and they had it in them to, to, to persevere, to, to, to obtain what they felt was theirs, or a person leaving, going to, you know, these Western worlds, and realizing they're, they're gonna come back to reestablish themselves. That's the message. And once, I've heard so many people say, ah, I live, I live in Europe or UK or Canada, America. You know, these are, and these are Africans who left here and said, you know, they say, I'm coming back home. that in Africa not everything is rosy right yeah. there's something that probably don't like about the continent yeah what is that thing I do not like plastics we just need to be educated on how to handle plastics and it's everywhere and, and it's not just Africa I mean, you know, I, you can go anywhere and see, but um, cleaning our country up. Because when you when you when you when you when you live good, mm. you 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 know, and you beautify your place. You you become you even look at yourself more royal and as a royalty, you know. But that's one thing is that um, I think that you know when it comes to that, we could do better. Today is Good Friday and um, it's church day and apparently my man is the pastor in here, Mr. Mr. Deborah, yeah? Let me quote this from the Bible. The Bible says that wisdom is defense and money is defense. But the ultimate of excellence is that wisdom gives life, but money cannot give life. So I'm just gonna go in. I hope I don't surprise him, man. Hey, hi, how are you? What's your dad? He's inside. Hey, how are you? I'm good. You're good? Yeah. You wanna say hello? Yeah. Hey. Hi, hi how are you? Yeah. So true. So true. So true. So true. Like I need to introduce him to you, you know. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. That's 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 Mr. Debra. I trust he's gonna be my vlog in Lagos. Mr. Debra. Is that right? You starting a new project? What are you building here? Then? High rise, you know. <laughs> hey, another high rise. Another high rise. <laughs> hey, I, am, am I gonna see both of you working together very soon? We definitely sure. must work together. And if you guys are working together, I need to get my commission. <laughs> no more free things, <laughs> man. <laughs> no, no more free things. <laughs> you are in it. Ah, you nice one. It. Mr. Yeah. Sun is doing a great job. Yeah. He's doing a great, amazing it. job. You know, we need more people like this in Africa. Yeah. Right, you know, yeah. Today I had to pull him from his church, man. Isn't it? Ah, don't job. worry. It's, it's with all pleasure. <laughs> and yeah. I'm pulling him to Nigeria. He's coming to Lagos by force. Definitely. Yeah. By fire, by force. Definitely, I must <laughs> be in Lagos. That's how we This, I'm going to another seven floor. G plus six, right? G plus seven. Yes, there's G plus six. G plus six. G plus Excellent. six. And it's allowed within the. You'll be the toilet. It is, area. it is actually. It oh, is allowed in the area. In the area. Oh, so, so I'm doing the. How big is this? 1,000 square meters? This is 720. 700, okay. So, that's what I'm doing the apartment on. Uh, I've still got a tenant in here. They, okay. they will be moving out in December oh, this year. So, before I knock down, I can't, I can't wait. What did you do? Why don't you do a plan? You ask me yeah. that we also 
you know, homogeneous development. Right. Apartment, but also apartment. You can then extend, you know, the other wing. So I'm to looking, I'm thinking side, of like yeah. an L-shaped kind of apartment. Right. Okay. Right. So maybe you're doing one wing now. Yeah. Okay. It's such a way that you can, then, you can then, you can then extend. Extend so, to the other place. Yeah. So you yeah. know, your soda face one. As people right. body, they know there's a face two. There's face two coming up. You know, so that yeah. you have a homogeneous within the same. That's you right. can share a common pool, a common. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's the whole idea. You know, so That's the whole take, idea. Uh, I know today is happy Easter. Easter, Good Friday, eh? Right. So I will need my Easter presents, by the way. Oh, I need to, I need to let I'll you guys know. Meat. Meat. That's more like a Salah present, man. And this is not Salah, this is Easter. Good Friday, when should you be? Yeah, but I know you all, you watch this video. Of course I did. And you also watched the video yeah. and both of you are meeting today yeah for the first time Cotton with the Maya ah. in Accra Accra Ghana Accra Ghana <laughs> and so there will be the Nigerian connection yeah. of the meeting and all that so Definitely. what do you think about my videos though I'll say excellent I mean your respect for this connect right we probably won't have ever met I was a great man here as well. Go um, black. <laughs> not you from America, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, so you know, your respect for all of this. I was very grateful. Your videos are excellent. People should subscribe. You know, do you know that when I interviewed this man initially, I struggled there because I wanted to interview. He's like, my, I'm so shy. I, I, I can't do this. And I was doing this video in Banana Island. You know, it's like, oh no, I'm so shy. Now today he's telling people to subscribe. Yeah. I'm like, what happened? I'm not tech compliant. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, <laughs> Mr. Deborah? It's always yeah, good to see you. Is that, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. a new billionaire in town. Yeah. Ah. I, I take that. I take that <laughs> yeah, with faith. Hey, it's, 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 it's always prophesying. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's always a pleasant moment uh, meeting you. I think your video technically has been a dot connector for the, the regions in Africa. So, so you speaking to you know very industrial business minds and, and unveiling what we are doing in our own small corners to just encourage some other people so that they can also come down and do more for Africa. I think it's the right direction, and uh, that's why we always celebrate you. I saw oh, it's gone, eh? No, it's all gone. No, no, no. <laughs> I saw I saw a whole song composed for you oh, that should wow. let you know that <laughs> Africa is really behind you, and we are excited about what you are doing for the continent. So God bless for the Maya. Good morning. Morning. Hey, I sweet to put your shades now. That is shade. Never shade. Shade nation. 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 Shade I you not ready to scare my I'm pissed on to my I don't even know what to say, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this amazing episode. Don't forget to like this video. It's very important to subscribe. If you are new to the channel, my name is still Mr. Ghana Baby, the one and only. And this is my junior brother, yeah? Do you guys know him? I don't think so. You don't think so? It's like my first time appearing on the channel. That's not true. <laughs> yeah, but uh, he's the only medical doctor in the family. And uh, in case you know him in uh, Kwame Kuma University, Say hi to you anytime you meet him. Yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.